gods. Well, enter the Titans. This second generation of divine beings emerged from the primordial gods themselves. Titans were powerful entities, each with their own unique abilities and domains. They ruled over the cosmos during what we call the Golden Age. The most well-known among them was Cronus, the leader, who overthrew his father Uranus and took his place as the ruler. His wife, Rhea, was another influential figure. She was the mother of the first Olympian gods and played a crucial role in saving her youngest son, Zeus, from Cronus's wrath. Other key figures include Atlas, the titan who held the heavens on his shoulders, and Prometheus, the clever titan who stole fire from the gods and gave it to mankind. But even these mighty beings had their vulnerabilities. They were not invincible, and their reign was marked by conflict and betrayal. However, the reign of the titans was not to last forever. Who stepped up to challenge the mighty titans? The answer lies in the third generation of divine beings, the Olympian gods. Born from the titans themselves, the Olympians were a new breed of gods. They were younger, more vibrant, and filled with an insatiable desire for power. Their leaders were the three brothers, Zeus, Poseidon, and Hades, each of whom ruled over a distinct domain. Zeus, the king of the gods, held dominion over the sky. Poseidon, the god of the sea, controlled the waters, and Hades, the god of the underworld, reigned over the realm of the dead. Their ascension wasn't easy, the Titanomachy. After a decade-long struggle, the Olympians emerged victorious, overthrowing the Titans and establishing their reign over the cosmos. But the story doesn't end there. The Olympians, in their infinite wisdom and power, started to mingle with humans. This union gave birth to a new breed of beings, the demigods. Demigods were half-god, half-human, and they possessed extraordinary abilities. They were heroes, warriors, and champions who often found themselves at the center of epic tales and adventures. Among the most famous demigods were Hercules and Perseus. Hercules, the son of Zeus, was renowned for his incredible strength and for his twelve labors, which were tasks so difficult they were deemed impossible. Yet, Hercules completed them all, cementing his legendary status. Perseus, another son of Zeus, was no less remarkable. He's best known for his daring feat of beheading the monstrous Gorgon, Medusa, and using her severed head as a weapon. His bravery and cunning were unparalleled, making him one of the most celebrated heroes in Greek mythology. Thus, the gods and demigods took over, ruling the cosmos and the earth. They became the new pantheon, the new rulers of the world their stories becoming the stuff of legends, shaping Greek mythology as we know it today. And where do the giants fit into all this, you may ask? Gigantes were a race of great strength and aggression, born from the earth when the blood of the fallen titan Uranus spilled onto it. They were as much a part of the natural world as the gods themselves. Their most notable contribution to the mythology was the Gigantomachy, a cataclysmic battle that pitted them against the gods of Olympus. This was no mere squabble. It was a titanic clash, a struggle for control of the cosmos. Despite their immense strength and size, the giants were eventually defeated. Yet their downfall marked a pivotal moment in the rule of the gods, solidifying their authority and demonstrating their power. And so the giants too had their part to play in the intricate tapestry of Greek mythology. Their story serves as a testament to the endless that define this fascinating pantheon. So, what does it all mean?